press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Indian Navy to use American aircraft launch system in its next aircraft carrier. The Navy is likely to go with an advanced catapult-based aircraft launch mechanism, Katabar, from the U.S. for its second indigenous aircraft carrier, IAC-2, which is on the drawing board. For some time, India has been exploring the possibility of installing the U.S. electromagnetic aircraft launch system, IMLS. IAC-2 will have a Kitabar launch. However, the kind of propulsion is yet to be decided, a senior officer said. The U.S. has offered India its latest IMLS technology, developed by General Atomic Aeronautical Systems Inc., which has just been installed on the Gerald Ford carrier. While the older generation of Kitabar was powered by a steam catapult, IMLS uses an electric motor-driven catapult instead which allows the launch of much heavier aircraft and also reduces the stress on the aircraft. Saw glide bomb more precise than missiles, says DRDO chief after test. The smart anti-airfield weapon, saw, guided bomb that India successfully test-fired on Friday has higher precision and is much cheaper compared to missiles, DRDO chief S. Christopher said on Sunday. The saw glide bomb which is guided by an onboard navigation system, was successfully tested at Integrated Test Range at Chandipur, Odisha on Friday. The DRDO chief said unlike the normal bombs, which may not hit the precise target due to the environmental condition, this bomb with a navigation system has higher precision and is cheaper than missiles which have similar precision. MOD planning new airbase in Gujarat to fight a short and swift war against Pakistan. Within two months in office India's new Defence Minister Nirmala Sithraman is planning a new fighter aircraft base for the IF. The likely location for the base in Gujarat is sufficiently close to neighbour Pakistan to allow an efficient and effective response. The facility at Desa, which is located in Banaskantha district, is near the border and is expected to bridge the aerial gaps in the state that already has major fighter bases in Jamnagar in Saurashtra region as well as Bhajan Nalaya in Kutch. The IAF has been planning to set up a new airbase in Desa in Gujarat which has been in the files for the last many years. Due to the new defense minister's push, the plan is now moving fast towards reality, senior sources in the Air Force told Mail Today. ISRO plans to scale up outsourcing, double satellite launches. The Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, is planning to double the launch frequency of satellites built by it by scaling up outsourcing to industry to meet growing demand, officials say. Milswami Anna Dry, the director of ISRO Satellite Center, ISAC, the prime agency for realizing satellites for the Indian space program said that ISRO now launches 9 to 10 spacecraft built by it per year. Requirements have gone up. We also have to fill up the backlog. We are targeting to double the launch frequency to 18 per year from 2018-19, Anadar I told PTI. He said that ISRO's experience with the industry has been reasonably good, and vendors are very enthusiastic in increasing their contribution in the space program. India to help Afghanistan get six Soviet era choppers back into combat. Two years after announcing its decision to gift Afghanistan four attack helicopters, India has decided to step up its military assistance to the war torn country and help get six of its Soviet era combat helicopters back into service. An Indian Air Force team, it is learned, recently visited Afghanistan to assess old helicopters in the Afghan Air Force inventory. On return, it concluded that some basic work on the choppers could be done in India, but the complete overhaul would have to be done in Russia. Government sources told the print that based on this assessment, 
New Delhi decided to hold talks with Moscow to reach an arrangement through which India could foot the bill for the repairs in Russia. In 2015, India decided to gift Afghanistan for Mi-25 helicopters, a gesture that was made public when Prime Minister Narendra Modi visited Kabul in December that year.